Hey guys, it's Hollywood. Welcome back. All right. Three times last year, I went to Gunsight Academy and did various training courses there. If you've ever been to Arizona, I went once in June, once in September, and once in November, I think it was. June and September, <laughs> very hot, dusty, not exactly fun. The Gunsight was fun, weather not so much. I'm going back again this year, at least once, maybe twice. And the last thing I wanna do is go again in the summer and sweat my off okay so i got shorts to go this time i've worn pants every other time these are the p40 gen 2 tactical shorts from uf pro i have a pair of their tactical pants uh, i think it was some of their gen 1 stuff from a couple years ago saw these at shot show the guy walked me through them i actually did get footage at shot show uh, the audio was not you know up to my standards so i didn't publish that footage but i got some of the shorts and we're going to review them for you today look man it's the end of winter my legs are white as hell i don't want to hear it now let's start from top to bottom because that's how she likes it first you'll notice here that i am wearing my battle belt okay i am wearing my range belt and i did that just to show you those of you who have these range belts that are considered an outer belt and have this hook velcro on the inside these will mate up perfectly to the integrated belt system on the shorts. And here's why. There is a loop belt system already integrated into these shorts, and it gives you probably 320 degrees of loop Velcro, except for right here on the front, but it doesn't matter. That's where usually where your Cobra buckle is on your outer belt anyway. So you don't need a separate inner belt option. It's already built into the shorts. Simply wrap around your outer belt, good to go. All right, let's talk about the buckle area right here in the front. So if you can get past the tactical tummy there, here's how it works. You have a strap on either side. I'll just undo this one. And it simply opens up like that. And that effectively releases the tension from the inner belt, the integrated belt, okay? To reapply it, simply put it back through that loop, pull it tight, and then you can tuck it inside of this loop here on the, my right hand side. Now that said, it does also support, it has loops, okay? So it does also support an exterior belt if you so decided to wear one. Now, right here on the sides, you can see this material that's sticking up just a little bit above the integrated belt right there. And it's a very stretchy material, okay? The intent of that is so that when you cinch the front of this closed, that material will not fold over on itself and create hot spots for you, okay? That material simply compresses, doesn't fold over, doesn't rub you. It can stretch up to 40%. So again, if I'm doing any sort of movement, that material just flexes with the body. Now, three weeks ago, my family and I went down to Cancun. We spent a week down there. I took these with me. I wore them once at the resort and I wore them on the trip home. Coming back through International at, at the Atlanta airport, if you've ever been there, it is a long walk, a long, long walk to get from the gates where they drop you off all the way back to um, customs. Sir. And I wore these all the way back through there. I wore them for a couple hours on the plane ride. It was actually really nice because with all the pocket features, I was able to keep passports and all kinds of stuff kind of local to me. Also, it was very hot in Mexico when we were leaving. And these shorts have a feature that really, really helps mitigate that heat. And it's another reason why I chose them, especially to take them to Arizona. So if you look at this here, getting close here, you can see there's a flap here. And if I slide that zipper down, there's actually ventilated mesh inside of there, okay? So it goes all the way through, there's one on both sides, and it goes all the way through into the areas where you would want some airflow. Super, super nice, especially when we were leaving Mexico. We were carrying luggage with us, we had kids with us. I opened these things up and was able to get some additional airflow in them. The other thing that's really interesting about these, so this is the standard pocket, just like you would have on any shorts. And you can see my arm goes down to there in it, so I can fit my full iPhone Pro Max in there and it disappears. But if you'll notice this seam right here, so it's not actually a seam, if you pull the pocket open, there's a little kind of tiny zipper pull that is actually a little hidden pocket. You can see how far down it goes just up to my knuckles there. And you can hide money in there. You can put a handcuff key, whatever you need in there. And it's fairly wide. So it's that wide. And again, down to my knuckles deep. And then when you zip it closed, tuck that little zipper away. It just looks like a seam in the pants. All right, I am six foot tall, 230 pounds, maybe 233, something like that. And you can see these go down just a little bit below the knee. So it kind of gives you a frame of reference for how they fit. These are a 36 on me. They fit just like 36s would for, that you would buy at any other store. All right, we're gonna stay with the rest of the pockets here. So it has kind of a traditional cargo pocket, 
You can see that cargo pocket fits my entire hand down to my wrist bone there. And inside of there, it's gonna be very, very hard to show this, but inside of there, there are actually retention straps so that if you wanted to put a magazine in there, it will actually retain the magazine with these elastic straps that are on the insides of the short. And as you can see, I was able to fully conceal an AR magazine in there. Now, just in front of that, you'll see another thin pocket right here. And there's actually a retention strap. And then you can see I have a full-size iPhone 13 Pro Max in there. That is about the biggest you're gonna get. It fits pretty much side to side. And just a little bit of it sticks out there. And then you can tuck that flap in there. And I can ride, I can run. That iPhone is not coming out of there with that little flap, pretty cool. But now if I pan over to this side, you can see it's also the right size if you wanted to hold an AR magazine. Now, it's this one does have that strap also. That strap is not really intended to retain a magazine like this though, so you probably would lose this if you did too much activity. Again, that's what that inner pocket is for. And if we swing around a little bit more, you'll see there's another thin pocket right here. It's perfect for a magazine. This is a Glock 17 magazine. Now, one thing I'll say is it's deeper than a Glock 17 magazine. You could probably fit a 21 rounder in here pretty easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that belt open. Don't get too excited. And just show you that there is both a button, so you can see the button there, and the button is on a little bit of a bungee system, as well as a retention hook system. So first hook the retention hook, and then it's very easy to get your button through the hole there. And if we move on down to the zipper, the zipper actually has two zippers, so you can open it from the top, or there's a zipper at the bottom and you can open it from the bottom. So if you did have a plate, uh, excuse me, a battle belt or something like that, and maybe that top zipper wasn't easy to get to, you can get to the bottom one and open it from the bottom. And then while I have this open, also behind the front piece of the belt system there, there's actually a little pocket on the back side of this. So again, hide a handcuff key, some money, anything like that. And then it simply stows away when you cinch down the belt. And if we circle around to the back here, you can see there's actually a raised lumbar piece here. All right, so this does two things. One, it is padded. So it's probably got an eighth inch of padding in there. Gives you a little bit of extra support for the back of your spine, your lower spine there. The other thing that it does is it is a sweat moisture wicking material. So if you have moisture coming down the back, it will actually be absorbed by this pad here instead of running down the back of your legs. And there are also traditional pockets on the back here. They are zippered and you can see pretty much my entire hand fits down in those. And that's it guys, those are your P40 Gen 2 tactical shorts from UF Pro. They are quite expensive, all right? I'm gonna post a link down in the description below where you can check them out. Now, that being said, think just about the amount of stitching and R&D that had to go into these. They are highly, highly functional, whether it's for EDC use, tactical use. I will be using these this summer at uh, Arizona, hopefully staying much, much cooler than last year. So maybe I'll roll in some footage from that show and let you know how it went. But that's it guys, link in the description below. If you like this video, do me a favor, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a like. It just helps the video go a little bit further in the search algorithms. As always, I appreciate your time watching and I'll see you in the next one.